called and it is lunchtime. Double pour. Look at that concentration. For any of you that saw the video a couple days ago, yeah, that happened. I'm gonna buy a new one right now. I'm gonna have a look in there. Ah, see that? There's a little metal ring right there. Broke off. So that's like a little snap ring, and then it fits in that little groove. So in theory, it could be repaired. Well, might be all right for a while. That's staying pretty good, so <laughs> I like it. We still do need to go to town because I gotta drop packages off, but I'm excited. I don't have to go buy a doorknob. You know, there's a certain sense of great satisfaction when you can fix stuff yourself, especially during you know these weird times we all live in. The sense of independence that you have from something like that. You know, even if I didn't have any hand skills whatsoever, it's not a hard repair, that's easy. I think any homeowner could fix it. But if you didn't have any whatsoever and you had to rely on somebody to come fix things for you, I think with this whole pandemic, I think we're gonna see an uptick in useful physical skills. And I'm not saying computer skills aren't useful, but people that have the tools and the skills and the know-how to do your own basic repairs around the house, that is something that I absolutely treasure. I remember growing up, my dad, my dad was a millwright, and I'm a millwright as well, and he always said I can fix anything but a broken heart. My dad said that all the time when I was a kid, and I thought it was the coolest phrase. And uh, now I say it, but I take it a little bit farther, and I say that I can fix anything except for a broken heart. For that, I use my charm. <laughs> a ring-necked pheasant. He doesn't even care that I'm here. That is cool. So, I'm at the point where I'm needing my, my disc grinder. here to ventilate it a little bit get that welding smoke out now what's left is I have to mount everything and then hook up the wires and we're in business it'll be really good to have that thing this thing back to operational and I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to come up with some weight to put on the bottom so it doesn't move around but I think the the thing that's gonna be great about this is that it should easily just tuck right in the corner and I should just have enough room beside my other two grinders I know that you don't like your hair, but I think it's beautiful. We just need to calm down, honey. We need to calm down. It's a moment of truth. That's a good sign. She's gonna run. Yes. Yes, it sure is. Well, I'm so excited to have this thing going. All right, I need to clean up my mess in here. I've got one bevel. I just need to true up a little bit on the disc grinder, and then it's to the hand sanding. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and have a great day. Honey, we need